Well, thousands of people visited the Eastern Sierra on Saturday, most of them for the general trout opener. But an Ontario man was in Mammoth Lakes for a drug transaction, and he initiated a high-speed pursuit through Mammoth Lakes before he was stopped just outside of Bishop. Now, a press release from the Mono County Sheriff's Office states that on Saturday, April 28th, Mono County Narcotic Enforcement Team agents, along with the assistance of INET, Mono County Sheriff's Department, Mammoth Lakes Police Department, California Highway Patrol, Inyo County Sheriff's Department, and the Bishop Police Department, they concluded an investigation in Mammoth Lakes into the transportation and sales of methamphetamine. Now, Monet agents arranged to purchase methamphetamine from Hector Pacheco Jr., age 34, of Ontario. The press release states Pacheco met with the undercover agents and completed the transaction sale. Now, as the transaction was completed, an arrest team attempted to take him into custody. Pacheco got into his vehicle and rapidly accelerated away, nearly striking a member of the arrest team, according to the press release. Now, as Pacheco fled the scene, he struck a Mono County Sheriff's Patrol unit that was attempting to stop him. Pacheco fled at a high rate of speed down Old Mammoth Road, failing to stop at two controlled intersections. Pacheco continued to flee outside the town of Mammoth Lakes, traveling southbound on State Route 203 and onto US 395 at speeds in excess of 100 miles per hour. Law enforcement officers pursued, pursued him from Mammoth Lakes to just outside Bishop, by the Bishop Gun Club. His vehicle was stopped by law enforcement officers using the pit maneuver. Now Pacheco was arrested without further incident and transported to the Mono County Jail in Bridgeport. As a result of the arrest, Monet agents seized a half a pound of methamphetamine. Pacheco is currently in custody at the Mono County Jail, facing charges of felony evading, assault with a deadly weapon, and transportation and sales of narcotics. Monet would like to thank all of the agencies that assisted with the case, and the press release states it was a successful team effort. Well, last Friday at approximately 420 at the Mammoth Yosemite Airport, a twin-engine Cessna General Aviation aircraft landed gear up on the runway without causing major damage or personal injury. Now, a press release from the town of Mammoth Lakes said airport personnel responded, as did Long Valley and Mammoth Lakes Fire Protect Districts, in addition to the Mammoth Lakes Police Department. The aircraft, according to the press release, was towed from the run runway, allowing Air Alaska Airlines flight number 2196 from Los Angeles to land at approximately 4.53 p.m. And the press release states that the Mammoth Yosemite Airport resumed full operations that day. Well, recently, news service that surfaced that Mammoth Assistant Town Manager Mariana Marashiva Martinez had applied for the city manager job in Yakima, Washington. Now, last week, Martinez withdrew that application and signed on an additional year's contract with the town of Mammoth Lakes. A press release issued by the town says Martinez has, quote, demonstrated her abilities and capacities to work on a variety of difficult public issues. The release goes on to say that Martinez has focused on financial issues, negotiations with MLLA, plans for creditor mediations, and providing leadership and support to the Mammoth Lakes Town Council and Town Manager. Town Manager Dave Wilbrecht confirmed that Martinez's contract remains the same $4,000 per week, some retirement benefits, but no other benefits, and use of a town car, mostly when she's in town. Wilbrecht said Martinez came to him when the article about her application for the job in Yakima went public and said she would prefer to stay in Mammoth one more year. Wilbrecht said, quote, we do have more work to be accomplished and we appreciate her staying with us, end quote. Now, Wilbrecht said the town does have, if the town does have to enter bankruptcy, Martinez will work on that. Otherwise, she will work on MLLA, more consistent financial reports, improvement of financial controls and policies and procedures, town government wide. Well, the town of Mammoth Lakes is inviting the community put to participate in continued discussions of the town finances and the MLLA judgment. Now, the town will hold its next two public meetings coming up on Wednesday, May 2nd. Now, that will be during a regular town council meeting that was scheduled to start at 6 p.m. And then again on May 8th, 
also at 6 p.m. Now, both of these meetings will be held at the town council chamber, Suite Z, on the second floor of the Minaret Village Mall. A press release from the town of Mammoth Lake says the town encourages residents to inform the town council what services are important to them and what services they believe are needed to maintain what the press release states is our current status as a premier year-round resort community. If you would like to get some more information, you can contact the town manager's office, 760-934-8989, extension 223. And the town council also announced closed sessions coming up Tuesday and Wednesday of this week, both at 4 p.m., to confer with legal counsel on anticipated litigation and also on labor negotiations. And in Bishop, there will be a public meeting in City Hall that was scheduled for Tuesday, 7 p.m., to discuss the Warren Street Improvements Project. Now, the Warren Street Project is the City of Bishop's next big street project and will be constructed about two years from now. A press release from the City of Bishop states, because it is located in the downtown commercial core, the project should be important to all residents and businesses. Now, this meeting, according to the press release, is the best chance to learn more about the project and to get involved in how it will look when it was, when it was built. The Warren Street project is generally planned to improve the full length of Warren Street with new pavement, curb, sidewalk, street trees, street lights, and other improvements. If there is enough money, the press release states, the blocks of the side streets between Warren and Main Streets will also be improved. Those streets, South, Lagoon, Church, Academy, Pine, and Elm. And the money for this project comes from state and federal gas taxes. If you would like to get some more information, you can contact the City of Bishop Public Works. We'll be back with more news.